after collecting hundreds of tropical plants over the years, I can definitely say that not all of these plants that are really trendy, very popular, are worth the money. A lot of these plants that I've collected have been really expensive. I've gone out on the hunt looking for them, found it, brought it home all excited. And then over time I think, oh, I, if I had known that this plant wasn't really worth it, I wouldn't have purchased it. But on the flip side, there are plants that I've brought home, rare, uncommon ones, that have been worth every penny every every penny that I would go and purchase again um, and add even more of them to my collection and a lot of them are surprising. So I did do a part one sharing 10 rare uncommon plants that are worth it. I've included it here and also in my description but it was so hard to narrow it down to just 10. Like I said I've collected hundreds of houseplants over the years so I thought I'd share another 10 uh, rare uncommon plants that are worth every penny. Now a lot of plant prices have come down, a lot more plants are readily available so it may not be difficult to find a lot of these plants anymore. And I always think this would have been really helpful information for me if I was thinking of what plants to add to my collection. As many of you already know, I use a lot of grow lights and supplemental grow lights in my home. I couldn't live without them. They make such a difference to the growth of my plants and the health of them. And my favorite grow light company is Soltech Solutions. I am a huge, huge fan of their products. Now Soltech Solutions is sponsoring this episode because they wanted me to let my community know that they are having a huge, huge sale for Black Friday. It's running from November 22nd through November 27th. With code Black Friday, customers will get 20% off. And when combined with on-site discounts, you will get up to 40% off select items. Customers will get two times the reward points for all purchases during the sale. Up to 40% off Soltech Solutions Grow Light is the deal of a century, I will say. As many of you know, I've had great success with Soltech Solutions Grow Light. Not only do they look the best of any grow light I've ever used and are number one recommended by interior designers, they are wonderful for my plants. And one Soltech Solutions Grow Light can take care of a lot of plants. I've included a link in my description below to take you right to their website. I personally have the Pendant Aspect Light. Um, it was really easy to install, took me 10 minutes and it's been amazing. So I do recommend that one, but I know that all of their products are really, really well loved by all of the plant community. This is in no particular order. I love all of these plants for different reasons, but this one is a Philodendron Gigantium Blizzard. This is such a wonderful philodendron that I hardly ever hear anybody talking about. Now philodendron gigantium are known for having absolutely massive, massive leaves. They are very fast growing. And this one is a variegated version. And I am obsessed with the variegation on these leaves. And it's so easy. It just loves to be neglected. It doesn't, it's just not bothered at all. And it's always putting out new growth. And I really love it because it puts out large leaves. It's hard when we're waiting for new growth on a plant and it's like putting out these little baby leaves. And gigantium is called gigantium for a reason. It's because it makes huge, huge philodendron leaves. And I will say I'm surprised the variegation on this plant stays really consistent. Like it doesn't fade out really. It just stays looking beautiful, completely marbled. I mean, look at this plant. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Now, I think I got this one from Green Spaces ID. Um, she does enjoy a bit of sunlight. You know, a lot of these variegated plants do enjoy some sunlight. And the other thing I like about this one is it does produce variegation, but it's modeled with green. So it does produce enough chlorophyll for the plant to like grow quickly, but it still looks highly, highly variegated. I just love it. It's so easy. I have it in one of my um, orchid pots and it's already looking like it needs to be repotted. So yeah, this is just such a wonderful plant. Like I said, the nice thing about this plant is it, it doesn't take as long to get big because of the nature of the Gigantium philodendron is naturally a really large leafed plant. It's not like you have to wait forever for the leaves to get huge like a lot of philodendrons. 
This one was a surprise for me of how great and easy carrot is. It's the Ab Anthurium. They also call it the King Anthurium because these leaves get really, really long and really, really massive over time. And you can see it already has some of this developing. Now I got this plant when it was really, really tiny and it's already put out a lot of new growth. The leaves have increased substantially. It's always putting out a new leaf. And I love the new baby leaf. Look at that. It's this beautiful pink color. And I think what shocked me most about this plant is how easy carrot is. Now this plant was very, very expensive a few years ago. Like, I don't have the price on here, but at least $150, $200. But I'd say now the prices have come way down. I, I've seen it in, um, in plant stores for far less. And if you've been wondering about this plant and if it's easy or not, it really is. I'd heard other people discuss that this was a really easy, great plant and they were absolutely right. And I put my plants through it, I will say, and this one has really done okay. So if you've been thinking about this plant, go ahead and get it. Um, and if you can only afford a small one, they do. this one has grown pretty quickly. Next up is this silver stripe philodendron. Now, if you don't want to pay the money for a silver stripe, get a Brazil. They look so incredibly similar. Now, there are other varieties that look similar to this, like Rio, white stripe, cream stripe. There's a lot of different varieties. And if you're a collector of pothos or philodendrons and you like how easy care they are, but you want something maybe not everyone else has, and you want to get a rare uncommon plant, but you want something that you know is going to thrive and be easy to take care of. This is a perfect, perfect plant. I had a small one and I just loved it so much that I went ahead and got this one. And I actually found this one at Pike's Nursery. If you watch my plant shopping videos, I found this one at Pike's for $29.99, which was a steal um, because I've seen them around before this for around $150 for a basket of this size. So keep an eye out because you you can find them. Like I said, plants are becoming more readily available at lower prices uh, in the market. But this one is so beautiful. I love the leaves. They're so stunning with that cream stripe down the middle. They're a little bit different um, variegation colors and uh, leaf shape than philodendron Brazil, but it's just as easy care as a Brazil and other pothos and philodendrons. Um, and it's one of these plants that if you forget to water it for a few days, it's okay. It's nothing's going to happen. You know, just water it when you kind of get to it type of plant. They're really easy to propagate, which I love rare uncommon plants that are really easy to propagate because it's nice to be able to make a full basket if you don't have a full basket of them. This is a plant that really is worth every penny and will show you nothing but love. Peace lilies, as we all know, are a wonderful plant. They're very, very easy care, low maintenance, beautiful, beautiful plants. But sometimes we want something a little bit different than just a standard peace lily in our homes. This is what you should be getting. It's a variegated peace lily. Now this one specifically is a domino peace lily and it has all of the wonderful benefits and care, um, easy care of a regular peace lily, except that the leaves are different. So the leaves have variegation on them. They have interesting texture to them. And there are lots of different variegated peace lily varieties out there. I think I got this one for $20 from a local nursery. And I've seen them sometimes at big box shops. So don't hate on peace lilies, guys. They are absolutely amazing. I have been nothing but thrilled and in love with this plant since I got it. Every time a new leaf comes out, it's like a big grand reveal, which is exciting. Um, look at this leaf that it put out. It's like an interesting double leaf. It's some sort of mutation. It's highly variegated, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It blooms all the time for me. Another thing that I love about peace lilies is they let you know when they're thirsty. They'll do like a peace lily flop where the leaves kind of flop down and you know to give them a good drink and within a few hours they perk right back up. And this one is just loving, loving life. It's been so easy. It's just, it's always putting out new growth. It requires next to nothing. And I just don't hear them talked about that often. Again, if you don't want to get a $20 domino peace lily, you can go and get more uncommon rare varieties. Now this plant does have a lot of green in it. The other varieties that you can get that are more rare and uncommon will have more of the variegated leaves. 
Next up is this beautiful Syngonium Chia Pens. I found it at Cactus Club. I think it was originally $56 or $60. I'm not sure on the exact price. And when I bought it, it was really small, but what really sold me were the huge leaves on this Syngonium. When I tell you that this is the happiest plant, I am not exaggerating. It's such a gem. It's so great. And in this area, it doesn't get a lot of light. It does have a little bit of a grow light there. And then the window is there, but the window doesn't shoot its light out in this direction so much. It goes in the opposite direction. But this plant is still just rocking and rolling. The leaves are so beautiful and humongous. Again, it's nice to have a plant that puts out large leaves without having to wait years and years. And this is definitely that plant. Um, it's sort, it, like I said, the plants are having a hard time attaching, but this plant really wants to attach. It has aerial roots and it's just been pumping out new growth, new growth, new growth. Now I had a thrips outbreak in here that I'm still combating and a lot of my plants are kind of coming back from that. This plant, no problem. It was like, thrips, what? It didn't even care at all about the fact that it, um, I was dealing with pests in here. It reminds me a lot of philodendron too, the way that it grows. Like if I didn't know it was a syngonium, I would think it was a philodendron. So if you're looking for an interesting plant like that, that not everybody has, syngonium chia pens is a fabulous, fabulous plant. And I don't know why we don't talk about it more, but this plant was definitely worth every penny that I spent for it. I would definitely buy this plant again. Next up is an oldie, but a goodie. This is a variegated whale fin. And whale fins are tried and true. Like we love a good snake plant and a variegated whale fin can be expensive. When I got this plant, they were over a hundred dollars. Now you can find them for a lot cheaper, but this plant is definitely worth every penny. If you're considering it and you want to get a more uncommon variety of snake plants, whale fins are definitely worth every penny in general, even if you just got a regular green whale fin. But if you wanted to get an even next level, rare uncommon snake plant, variegated whale fin is great. Look at all the new baby whale fins that have come out. They're also easy to propagate. You propagate them by splitting the roots. It's beautiful. I just love that it's put out new growth. It's happy. It requires nothing. And I haven't talked about this plant in a really long time, but it's one of those that I look at it and it just brings me happiness. It gives me nothing but love. It was one of the plants that I purchased early on based on watching other people's planty content. Um, and I'm so glad that I did. I never regretted getting this plant for a minute. This is an interesting plant that I don't hear spoken about that often, and it's a Philodendron Camposporteatum. I hope I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is such a fun Philodendron. So it's one of these Philodendron that the juvenile leaf and the adult form leaf look entirely different. So this is in still in the juvenile form. And I'll tell you the reasons why this plant is worth every penny and one of the reasons I love it. Other than the fact that it's so beautiful, look at these juvenile leaves. The juvenile leaves are this lime green color. They get this like sunrise color in the center of the leaves. They're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So seeing how these juvenile leaves look, I'll show you here what an adult form leaf looks like. It looks like it has a really interesting bell shape to it. And I just love plants that it's kind of a surprise of what the adult form leaf looks like compared to the juvenile leaves. Surprisingly, this philodendron is probably the fastest growing philodendron I have ever had. It grows like a weed. And it's also by far the easiest philodendron I have ever propagated. It propagates and takes like that. I've propagated it in sphagnum moss water. It just wants to grow, it wants to thrive. Um, this one outgrew its spot, so I placed it on a shelf and it's put out all of this new growth. So I think what I'll probably do, now this one's in sphagnum moss. Again, it loves any substrate. It's just the happiest philodendron. I purchased this one from Botanica's on Etsy and I never buy plants online, but I couldn't find this plant anywhere and I was very interested in it. I just thought it was such a cool philodendron, never heard of it before and I had to have it because look, it's so beautiful. And when it came, it was literally two little baby leaves. It was so, so small. That sucker grew so fast and this isn't even the original plant. This is a propagation of the original plant. Like I said, I have them all over my house now. Here's a prop box that has a bunch of stuff in there. 
and it has a lot of these <laughs> philodendrons and I'm just to the point where I just have to give them away because it grew so fast and it's hard when you get a plant that that's small from you know from a shipment to you have to keep a really close eye on it because you can't let it dry out you know these small baby plants without a, an established root system tend to die quickly this one was just took off from the get-go maybe I just got lucky because sometimes that can happen but every plant of this that I've propagated has thrived next up is this beautiful philodendron I think it's a tripartita but I'll put the name of it here I found this one on sale at Cactus Club for $25 Look how beautiful this philodendron is. It's put out this new leaf. It has new leaves coming out here. It is a fabulous, fabulous plant. And I really like the fact that the leaves are unique. It has the three leaves that become even more and more defined over time. I hate to be predictable as so many people talk about how wonderful this plant is, but it is a philodendron BSEA. I love this plant. This was the first plant that I spent a lot of money on and it has not disappointed me in the slightest and i never regret spending all that money on this plant um, at the time it was very expensive for me which was 130 dollars and that's still very expensive for me i will say uh, but at the time it was astronomically expensive to spend on a plant but bietiers you just couldn't find them anywhere and i really wanted to add one to my collection it was a wish list plant and i was nervous because like i said i've had experiences where I bring it home and it's just not worth the money I paid. This one has been worth every penny. It's been wonderful. It loves life. It's been putting out new leaves ever since I got it. And I believe it's due for a repot. It sits under a grow light at about half strength. That's why it hasn't grown super tall because it is getting enough light. And I kind of like it cute and bushy like this. And I love the red orange stems. It's just a happy, happy plant. I would love to one day, one day get my hands on a variegated BTA. They are way out of my price, price zone and out of my budget. But this plant I have such a special attachment to being it was like the first really expensive plant that I purchased and it's treated me so well over the years and we have like a good, a good thing going. It would be fun to add a variegated version because you know, a lot of times the variegated ones can act similar to the non-variegated version so maybe you can tell me if you have a variegated BTA, is it as easy care and as awesome as the non-variegated versions i would love to know last up i had to throw in a hoya this is a hoya sunrise and this plant has been a total total surprise for me i've had a lot of hoyas that are really slow growing they haven't done much and they've just been kind of meh like i'm glad i have them in my collection but I've bought them small and they've stayed small and they haven't done much and they're difficult to propagate. This one though, complete surprise, it grew so so fast. When I got this plant it was tiny, it only had a couple little leaves. In the shortest amount of time this plant, had, this Hoya has put out more growth than any of my other Hoyas that I have. It's insane and I propagated it and my propagations are doing great as well. Here's one of my propagations and look how much this plant has grown. It only had one little leaf when I propagated it and in a matter of a few months, boom, it's grown so, so much. And this Hoya isn't even in its full glory because a Hoya Sunrise is called a Hoya Sunrise because it ha is supposed to have like a lot of pink on the leaves, but you only get that if you give it enough light. So I recently bumped up the light a little bit on this plant and look, it's just now starting to get some of those sunrisey colors on the leaves. So this is one of those that's really fun to sun stress. And I'm gonna start doing more of that because this Hoya, I can't express enough. And it has bloomed so much for me as well, which was surprising. Like you can see where all of the little peduncles were on the end of this plant, such a surprise. So if you're thinking of adding a Hoya to your collection, you want something that's a little bit uncommon and you're not sure what kind to get. I did talk about Hoya polyneura in my last one, which is the fishtail Hoya. 
wonderful, wonderful, fast growing Hoya. This one as well was a huge surprise, the Hoya Sunrise. And like I said, I wish this one was bright pink when I was showing you guys, cause I think it would be a big wow moment in this video, but we're, we're working on it. You know, I'm still getting to know this Hoya. Like I said, I wasn't expecting it to do much and it's just really, um, outdone itself, I have to say. So fabulous Hoya to propagate. Again, love a good propagating plant. Very fast growing, happy as can be. I wait till the soil dries out and I give it a good drink. So if you like this content, let me know if you think I should do one more of these episodes. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see future plant videos show up in your newsfeed. And we also have an amazing plant community on Instagram. And lastly, don't forget that Soltec Solutions is having that huge sale. I've included a link in my description below. You can use code Black Friday for 20% off. And that can be used in combination um, to other promotions they have going on on their website and you can get up to 40% off on select items So this only comes around every once in a while So I'm really excited that Soltec wanted me to let you guys know that that sale was going on. All right, everyone I hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye <laughs>